In today's video we will reveal how Danny Ray performed a dangerous act that completely fooled Pan and Teller on Fool Us. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. Danny Ray started of the performance by pulling out a mysterious looking prop that he said was extremely dangerous. He told Allison to verify whether the hook actually was as dangerous as it looks. He asked her to imagine what would happen if this hook hit someone directly in the eyeball. He pulled out an egg and asked Allison to imagine that this was her eye behind the device. He then pulled the trigger and the hook went straight through the egg. He told Allison to hold her eye against the back of the device, but Allison denied to do so. Danny said that he will do it himself and that if anyone is going to get hurt in this trick is going to be him. And Allison's job is to save him from getting hurt. He then placed four metal plates with four envelopes on top of the table. And one by one showed that three of the metal plates had holes in them, while placing each metal plate inside the envelope. There was only one metal plate without the hole in it, which he placed into the envelope and put on Allison's right side, so she can keep track of the plate without the hole. He then asked Allison to switch around the envelopes, at the same time making sure to keep track of the one that contained the shield. After mixing up them, Allison placed the envelope containing the shield on her very left side. Danny said that after shuffling the envelopes around, he was going to figure out which envelope contained the shield, judging from Allison's reactions and body language. After Danny turned around, Allison instantly gave away which one contained the shield, that would save Danny's eye from the hook. He requested Allison not to give any hints or clues, upon reading Allison's body language he managed to pick out the correct envelope containing the shield, and placed it into the device. Upon letting go of the hook, it went straight through the envelope and it turned out it was the wrong envelope. He then pulled out the plate to show that it had a hole in it. He asked Allison to point to any of the other three envelopes and guess which one contained the shield. Allison said she had no idea, she randomly pointed to one of the envelopes. He placed it into the device and once again it was an incorrect one. Finally there were only two envelopes left. Danny told Allison whichever envelope she points, he will place it into the device and risk his eye. Upon Allison pointing to one envelope, he placed it into the device, and Allison has successfully guessed the one that contained the shield. Spoiler alert! If you accidentally clicked on this video, and don't want to know how such tricks work, I will give you 5 seconds to click off this video, but if you consider magic as a puzzle then stay tuned. Now before I get down to the reveal, I want to give a quick shout out to my wonderful patrons for supporting my work. Their support is a reason I am able to improve my content and upload more regularly. We will break the trick into two phases. In the first phase, we will discuss the observations, and in the second phase based on those observations, I will explain exactly how Danny performed this dangerous illusion. Before we discuss the observations, let's see what Penn had to say about the performance. And we think that that machine can decide whether it goes through or not, and you have some sort of switch up. According to Penn, the device that Danny was using was gimmicked in such a way that it would miss the hole in the metallic plate on purpose according to Danny's will. But upon verifying his guess with Danny, it turned out Danny had completely fooled Penn and Teller because the device was not gimmicked in any way. Is the machine gimmicked? The machine is not gimmicked in any way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and there's no, there's no gimmick in here at all. There's no I just, gimmick I just in asked that. you outright. Yeah. Well, then give you our word, you fooled us. Simple as that. Based on Penn's wrong guess on how Danny performed the trick, it makes it easier for us to figure out where the trick actually lies. We are now going to observe very closely what Danny was doing with the envelope. Only then we will be able to figure out exactly how he performed the trick. In order to spot the moment where this switch happened, we must first follow all four envelopes. Now to make it easier to follow, we will number each of the envelopes from 1 through 4, based on how Danny showed each envelope containing the metallic plates. The first metallic plate that he showed, contained a hole in it, he placed on his very right side, near the remaining envelopes. So we will label it as number 1. The second metallic plate that also contained a hole, he placed on the left side of envelope number 1, so we will label it as number 2. The third envelope also contains a metallic plate with a hole in it. He placed the third envelope to the left of the second. And finally, the fourth envelope that contained the shield, he placed on Allison's right side, to make it easier for Allison to follow. The purpose of numbering each of the envelopes is to make it easier to follow each of them, so that we know for sure which numbered envelope containing the metallic plate was switched with the shield and vice versa. 
Now as Danny moves the envelopes in front of Allison, we will track the position of all three envelopes. You can see the original sequence that Allison was handed the envelopes is numbered from 1 to 4 from Allison's left to her right. Now as Allison switches the envelopes around, we will track the movement of the switches. You can see that after three switches, the envelope that is supposed to contain the shield is right over here, which is the envelope number four. But after Danny tests the envelope, we know that the fourth envelope does not contain the shield in it. This means a switch had taken place for the fourth envelope. After testing the remaining envelopes, we find that the third envelope that was supposed to contain the metallic plate with a hole in it was actually containing the shield. So a switch also happened with the third envelope. This means Danny did a switch with the third and the fourth envelope before he initially placed them onto the table. Now let's observe the moment Danny was showing the third envelope. We can see that right after he placed the metallic plate containing the hole into the envelope, he did not place the envelope directly onto the table. Rather for some odd reason, his right hand that held onto the envelope was near the edge of the table over here. If you were to compare this with the first two envelopes, you can see that he did not go near the edge of the table after placing the metallic plates into the envelope. This means some sort of switch happened at this moment, and if we observe the fourth envelope, we find Danny doing the same movement of placing his right hand containing the envelope near the edge of the table once again. So this clearly is not a coincidence. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. If you have made it this far into the video, be sure to like and also consider subscribing, I would really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel and at the same time get access to exclusive reveals only for my patrons. Join the $10 tier of my Patreon to gain exclusive access today. For those who want to request magic reveals and chat with me live they can join my $30 tier. Now let's get back to figuring out how this trick is done. If you haven't figured out the trick based on those observations, I will explain with these props I recreated from the performance to help you understand how the trick works. I created a cutout of the shield with a blue colored paper, and to represent the plates with the holes, I have created red cutouts. For the first envelope, he places the plate with the hole into the envelope, without doing anything fishy. He then places the second plate with the hole into the envelope without doing any funny moves. You can even see that the envelope is a normal envelope and it's not gimmicked in any way. But the twist comes with the third and the fourth envelope. The metallic plates were not gimmicked. But these third and fourth envelopes were gimmicked. You can see that there are two slots in the envelope, in which two metallic plates can be inserted, but in two different locations. The third envelope already contained a shield in it, but in the first slot. While displaying the third plate, he placed it into the second slot, and held onto it by pressing his thumb against it. This is because there is an opening underneath the second slot, that allows this metallic plate to pass through. So while performing, you can see that after placing the plate with a hole in it, he holds the envelope in his right hand, goes near the edge of the table. And in order to execute the switch he simply loosens up the envelope and allows the plate to fall into the bag hanging behind the table. Upon ripping this third envelope, it would only contain the shield. The third envelope was also marked with a small dot. The same concept was used for the fourth envelope that was also gimmicked. This envelope already contained a plate with a hole. Here is how he executed the change. Now you may be wondering, when there were only two envelopes remaining on the table, he gave Allison a free choice to select either one of the envelopes, and whichever envelope she pointed to, he would risk his eye with it. To explain the method, let's suppose Allison pointed to the wrong envelope that contained the plate with a hole in it. He would ask Allison several times whether she was sure that it was the envelope that would save his eyeball from popping. Allison had clearly lost track of the original envelope in the first selection, so she was going second guess her original decision and change it. Because her decision was completely random, she was so vulnerable that she even asked Danny himself what she should choose. I want you to point to the one you believe is a shield. Go. Which one do you want me to point to? <laughs> Furthermore, when Allison originally pointed to the envelope containing the shield, Danny did not ask her whether she wanted to change her mind or not. 
He knew that envelope contained the shield since the envelope containing the plate was marked, so he could keep track of the correct envelope. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to comment which reveal you want to see next. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.